Today we are going to learn about a new concept called we hosted a self-hosted server. On top of that, we installed a web server and we deployed at a code. Example, index.html we deployed. During our uh, DevOps classes, what we have did, we launched a Linux machine, we installed a Java, then we installed Tomcat, then we bought a DevOps.var file from developer and deployed. It has more on like infrastructure as service you did. Now today we are going to learn about platform as a service. Platform as a service where you don't want to provision AEC to instance. No need of installing prerequisite for Java. No need of installing prerequisite called Tomcat. Only you need to take the artifact from the developer and deploy it. Irrespective of whatever the artifact it is. Java, Angular, React, Python, could be anything. Take the code, deploy it. That means without provisioning of any VPC, subnets, all this stuff. Without provisioning of EC2 instances. Do you understand? So that means you are going to host a website of your choice, a web application of your choice, using platform as a service. And for that, there is a service in AWS, which is called Elastic Beanstack. Let us understand some theoretical part here. Elastic Beanstack is, is an easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and web services developed with Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go, and Docker on familiar services such as Apache Web Server, Apache Tomcat, Nginx, Passenger, IIS. You have learned about IIS. You have learned out about Apache. So what we do on them, we deploy applications. You simply upload your code and Elastic Beanstack automatically handles the deployment from capacity provisioning, load balancing, auto scaling to application health monitoring. So far you have learned about auto scaling, launch configuration, load balancer, all this. You did manually everything. Here you will not do anything. <laughs> you just upload. Things will happen. Everything. For this, if you want to do it, what is needed? Obviously AWS account, you need it. In order to try with an application, you need Java web application code. Third thing is, uh, you can do it this with the help of two ways, graphically or command line, AWS CLI. Here I have mentioned some steps. Make sure you our Java application is packaged as VAR file, which is a standard for web applications. Ensure the application runs on local server like Tomcat. First, that should be running in your local machine, then only you can use it here. Then set up Elastic Beanstack environment. For that, go to AWS Management Console, navigate to Elastic Beanstack Console, create new application. Then web server. You need to select web server. Mm -hmm.